look, I mean, he's a he's a great score, great goal scorer, playing in a remarkably dominant side that creates scoring opportunities for fun. So when you look at the previous records of people like Shearer, I'm not entirely sure that they played in sides that were quite as good as Man City and quite as dominant as Man City. So whilst I give a huge amount of, of respect to Erling Haaland, he's 22 years of age, he's a remarkable specimen, playing in a different era of football where defenders can't defend anymore, can't tackle, and it's all set up for offensive outcomes because that's the way football's been changed. If you look at the goals per game ratio in modern day football against the goals per game ratio back in the day when, when Shearer and Cole were scoring games, I bet you'll see a difference because the way that football's been set up differently now is more about offensive play than defensive play. So you're saying to us, Erling should be grateful that he's doing it, but he's doing it in a Manchester City team which is super good anyway. Yeah, I mean... He might not have done it anywhere well, else. Well, let's see if Tottenham had signed him. Let's see if he'd scored that amount of goals in the league for Tottenham and that's why you have to look at Harry Kane's contribution at times and say you wonder I mean I, I would wager you that if you stuck Harry Kane in a Man City side he'd score 30 plus goals uh, in the Premier League in a full season um, or a significant part of it but Erling Haaland is a remarkable specimen they're terrified he terrifies the life out of them these, these defenders um, and Whilst on one hand we can say, should we be grateful for him being here? And is it great that the Premier League has got him? And is it only the Premier League that could afford to have him? Well, he was bought for 50 million quid. So most of the clubs in the Premier League could have bought him. But the problem was... Yeah, but not many could afford his wages. And therein becomes the situation that we you should... You said be, maybe 800 grand a Should week. we be grateful for that? No, I most certainly am not grateful for a footballer coming into the Premier League and getting paid the best part of a million pound a week. I think it's outrageous... I think it's wrong for the system of sports. I think the con levels of salaries are just deplorable. But it is where it is. On the playing side, he is a he's a specimen, and and, and he's going to get better. Yeah. And he's not just a goal scorer. His link up play is very good and very intelligent. He's he's an all round centre forward. He's an all round um, uh, wrecking machine of a goal scorer. Yeah. Yeah. Erling Haaland what an impact he has made and the thing is he's not finished yet because he's still, to, still got plenty of time to add to that tally win him the Champions and League and who's to say he's not win him score, start, score goals in the Champions League semi-final yeah. score goals to win the Champions League then you will have done something for Man City that no one previous to, to you has done yeah Phil Brown's one of a few who's getting in touch Jim Players who had a big impact Cantona. how about Eric Cantona yeah. yeah sure I mean you could put him down but I cannot remember anyone who's got so many goals at such a stage in his career and has opened the eyes worldwide of football fans everywhere in his debut season we're all sitting back thinking jeez but we know, what have we but, got but, here but, but we said this was coming at the beginning of the season who said I didn't think I thought this was coming I didn't think that not I, with certainty no oh, way, Simon. Look Not it, with certainty. I, I, think, I thought to myself, without putting a number on it, that this guy scores the amount of goals he's scored in Germany. He's coming to a better side that creates scoring opportunities for fun. I'll be surprised if he doesn't score an absolute shed load of goals. And I actually think that I said round about September, October, this guy will score 50, 60 goals. You said, get, give me that again. Oh, we need to try and find that. Go find when it. Did you You'll say find that? it somewhere. When did you? Don't, when did you Lukey, say don't be so disparaging. You'll find it somewhere. When did you say it? And what? This I is can't because you've been up since four a.m. No, Your I can't remember gone. the exact date and time. But the guy came out of the blocks straight away. I mean, there was a ridicule of him in the charity shield, wasn't it? Because he missed a couple of sitters. Well, then Pep, he just, Pep talked about that yesterday. And yeah, then, no. and then he just hit the ground running. But you know, let's get things into context. <laughs> I, I, if you put Harry Kane in that forward line, he'd score thirty-five goals. Sorry, I know, I know, we got, I know, we got an early and highly loving this morning, but. Put, it's not a love in. He scores incredible goals. He does. I mean, incredible goals he as does. well. He's, He's a, a remarkable scorer player. of great goals and, and a great scorer of goals. He's a remarkable goal scorer. I so mean, we're trying to the, find out the majority. The so you said what when? I said back at the beginning of the season, I wouldn't be surprised if this kid scores more than fifty goals this year. Right. Not in the, not in the league. In like all the competitions put together, because the tragedy for all of us is Man City are dominant in all the com in competitions. So he's going to get yeah. a lot of games. Yeah, it's coming back through the glass. That there's absolutely no record of you saying that. Well, the, we've had this conversation before about what I do and don't say, and eventually we end up agreeing with the fact I did say it. <laughs> oh, that you did say yeah. it. Okay, nothing like a bit of self confidence at ten fifteen. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.